I love knowing what I know about vibration. I love knowing that it's about frequency and that I can focus. I love the ease that I'm able to frequently accomplish. I love setting this time aside in order to find this feeling of ease. I so love knowing the laws of the universe. I so love understanding my vibrational nature. I so love my understanding of focus and momentum. I love that I can begin this day in a vibration of well-being and ease. I really like knowing the sources surrounding me and everyone else, that all who I love is surrounded by this ease. I love activating it in myself in a way that I recognize it and can feel it fully and really own it. I love knowing that I will be guided to perfect thoughts and behaviors when timing is perfect for doing that. And meanwhile, I sit in ease and eagerness and appreciation for all that is to come. I'm happy about where I stand and eager about what's coming. I know that there are many who are seeking what I'm coming to know. And I'm so pleased that I'm demonstrating it in my own experience in a way that it will be evident in all regards to those who behold me. I feel so happy that I'm able to leave conditions out of the equation of my ease, that I'm able to just find ease by the power of my focus. I so adore non-physical energy, who I believe is flowing with ease and perfection around all that is. I love contemplating that there is this atmosphere of well-being that is focused to all of us and to the degree that we find ease and allow it in we are experiencing this well-being i just love it when my ease begins to expand when i begin to feel the momentum of my vibration increasing to where i begin to feel a sort of eagerness about things a sort of optimistic renewal is happening within me and while i know that the timing of action isn't quite yet i know it is coming and meanwhile i feel comfortable in this optimism that is beginning to build within me it feels to me as if i have access the power that creates worlds and i'm able to focus and i'm loving learning the balance of that focus because as i focus with alignment i can feel that i continue to allow the energy to flow to me and through me it is so exciting to me to get into this place of utter well-being and then to begin shining it through my focus in the direction of things that matter to me and i'm adoring this understanding of this unconditional love and focus and energy that's coming to me and i'm finding my way bit by bit i'm finding myself more capable of not putting conditions in my way that block this energy flow i know that i'm getting the handle on this energy flow and i know that i am proficient more proficient in every day as a result of my focus sometimes i get excited and i want to run out ahead of it but always when that feeling comes i can feel uneasiness sort of guide me a little bit and i realize that not quite yet don't act quite yet sit in the knowing of this yet longer find the vibrational alignment of it and watch how my desire is inspiring others to behavior I'm now understanding that my desire does not mean only that I will be inspired to the action that that will then make change. I understand that my desire and my holding of this place causes more of a likelihood for others to find the same and the same and the same. So it is a larger movement than me just tapping in and doing something about it. It's me priming the pump. It's me setting the tone. It's me finding the place of it. It's me shining the light. It's me asking the questions. It's me readying myself. And then it's me watching the results of having accomplished that vibrational environment. Every day I love finding this place and every day I love watching the results of the place that I found and I am eager to get out and watch that greater expansion and watch the details of that but meanwhile I'm just watching what's happening in my world right here around me right here around me as I show myself this leverage that I am activating as I tap into this energy that creates worlds I believe with everything that I am that I can be or do or have anything that I can influence anything that I desire and I'm so appreciative of the life experience that I have lived that's caused me to focus upon some things that are really important to me and right now I can feel that this is my step three moment this is when I really understand what allowing source energy to flow to me and through me is and I'm eager to get on with step four and I'm doing it a little bit every day but step three is where I reside right now
this is the work for me to do so there's no impatience on my part because there isn't anything for me to do I'm not being called to do something I'm not ready to do in fact I will never be called to do something that I'm not ready to do and when I try to push myself to do something that I'm not ready to do that's where the vibrational imbalance comes in so nice to know that source has my back so nice to know that the things that matter to me are underway and so nice to know that my work is to hold this place to hold this knowing and not try to take the role of source not try to be all things to all people not try to be the heart of any movement in the sense of action but be to be the vibrational heart of the movement that is being asked for by the masses I understand that I'm not the only one who put desire in my vortex there are hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of people who have put desire in their vortex that I am helping as I find and own this vibrational place of allowing source energy to do what source energy knows how to do I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and I'm loving my exposure to this life if you would decide today that nothing is more important than that you feel good and you would set forth a mantra that says not I'm going to find the best feeling thought I've ever thought and hold it that's not possible but as I'm moving through my day I'm going to reach for the best feeling thoughts I can find as I move along that mantra if you really mean it will take you into bliss on subject after subject after subject and we want to say to you that we can feel even as we feel you collectively and especially as we feel you individually you are so close to such incredible manifestations all you've got to do is just sharpen your signal a little bit in other words who you've become is a bright clear signal but you muddy the water when you talk in opposition to it so here's what we mean so life experience causes you to launch a rocket of desire so you say I want more money I want more money to do more things that I want to do or to repair things or to prepare for things I want more money you say in fact you've been saying it for so long that there are millions of dollars amassed for you in your vibrational escrow we are not kidding you there is so much that is there for you and when you find vibrational alliance with it it's gonna flow into your experience with ease so you've launched this rocket of desire and source says agreed 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 until there is this empire that is forming circumstances and events are being aligned in order to give you with ease this abundance that you want and deserve and here you are over here complaining complaining about not enough so here's this bright clear signal that is attracting unto itself now hear this we've not said this before when you give birth to something source joins it and a very powerful point of vibrational relativity begins emanating and law of attraction first time law of attraction is being summoned to that point on your behalf you hear that you said you wanted it source became it and law of attraction is amassing around the non-physical part of you that knows your genius knows your worthiness and knows your heart's desire so your world is becoming because of the information that you've been giving the question is where are you in relationship to this magnificent world that you are in the process of creating so if you're over here complaining where are you you're offering a signal that is discordant to this signal and so there is a gap between you and you and as long as there is a gap it is muting the brightness and the beauty and the speed with which your manifestations can come to you we've never said it clearer did you get a picture of it so when you want something please let yourself go with it please let yourself imagine it dream it talk about it don't keep arguing for your limitations don't keep explaining why you're not over there yet don't keep trying to justify why things aren't better it doesn't matter and no one's listening that can do anything about closing the gap you see the way to start momentum is to start general someone called out nature the way to start positive momentum really is to be as general as you can because when you get specific what happens is you activate the momentum that you've already had going does that make sense so the more general you are so what's the most general thing that you could think when you wake in the morning something that's good feeling could you focus upon your body lying in the bed could you appreciate the fact that you breathed all night long and you didn't have to think about it 
that your bodily functions are working that your heart is pumping and that the air is flowing could you just for a moment acknowledge in appreciation but really more generally the physical well-being of that no matter what's going on in your body those things that are happening it's big it's really really big that's really big it's really worth appreciating for a little bit the roof over your head the air conditioner when you're in a hot city the structure that provides the electricity that makes it possible for this easily accessible and very low cost energy isn't that something worth focusing on and isn't it positive and doesn't it feel good and isn't there some appreciation in that and if you've stayed there for as little as 17 seconds which we just did isn't there something else that you could leapfrog into something else that feels equally good aren't you appreciating the commerce of your world aren't you appreciating the fact that the world is so large and there is so much energy and how dynamic it is don't you love the economy of your world don't you love the standard of living that you have access to isn't it nice don't you appreciate the way you get around have you looked at the vehicles that you drive you look at the vehicles and you see how solid they are how well constructed they are how reasonable they are how accessible they are don't you feel fortunate to live in an environment where everyone you know has transportation not just transportation but for the most part really reliable transportation aren't you pleased with the organization that your government has provided that puts these roadways in place aren't you amazed that you can get anywhere that you want to be not just in your conveyances that are on the ground but those that are in the air isn't this a wonderful time to be alive don't you love being at the peak of technology aren't you enjoying the computer that you have today do you remember the one that you had 20 years ago do you remember how many megabytes of memory you had in comparison with what you've got going on now don't you appreciate the ease of all of that now did any of you feel any argument with any of that was it boring in some cases it was boring but there was no resistance in the conversation so now the momentum can continue so you find yourself appreciating things like that generally you find yourself appreciating things like that globally you find yourself acknowledging the well-being the well-being of how most are thriving around you you could even find yourself comparing yourself to those who live in other places and feeling appreciation for where you have landed and what you are accomplishing then you can move in to your appreciation for trading stocks and the facilities for it that make it possible and the intuitiveness that you find and how fun it is to use the power of your mind and how great it is to get to do the math and how nice it is that there is a mathematical science that you understand and how nice it is that the market is broad enough that there is no long-term risk and that knowing what you know and being able to apply your thoughts in the way that you do that you can actually calculate with some accuracy what's coming back to you and as you acknowledge the feeling of elation as you've applied these principles these laws of the universe where you have deliberately brought yourself into vibrational alignment with something brought yourself vibrationally up to speed with it found thoughts and then practiced those thoughts and spoke them regularly I'm really good at this and things go really well for me and the clients that I work with and the others that I trade with the others that I get to play with this is really a remarkable thing that's going on and you feel the momentum of that going the reason that that momentum keeps going well for you is because that is the vibrational momentum that you've got going but you can get that momentum going on every subject in the world anything that matters to you you have the ability to allow not get that momentum going to allow the momentum that you already got going to sweep you into its momentum this is the thing am I in the mode of receiving